Hi everybody, back in the kitchen, finally. I know it has been a long time for both of us. And as you can tell, we are in a new location. Location, location. It's extra echoey, echoey, echoey. Because there's no carpets, carpets, carpets on the floor, floor. Anyway, hi, welcome to the new kitchen um, up in Seaside, California, which is right next door to Monterey. Um, gonna be up here for a while. Uh, Raccoon is doing a PhD program, and so uh, I got to have a nice new kitchen to cook in and hopefully make some nice food for you guys and teach you something along the way. Boom! Okay, with that being said, today I am calling out a local restaurant here called Lucky Bamboo. We went there a couple weeks ago to try their food, and we ordered a Thai iced tea, and it was terrible. I'm sorry. I don't know what it was made from. I think it was like a squirt bottle in some ice water and it was, it was terrible. Literally sent it back. Um, but I want you guys to know how easy it is to make Thai iced tea in your home, uh, whether you're here in the United States or somewhere abroad. It is simple. It only takes a couple ingredients and the end result is delicious. So let's get started. Oh, stay to the end. We'll do a little kitchen job. Glad to be back. Oh, and did I mention new kitchen clogs? Hardwood floors and kitchen clogs. That's a chef's friend right there. All right, here's all the goodies we're gonna use. Of course, if you were in a restaurant setting, you would have all this automatically. Uh, mostly this is tea and milk and a couple containers to mix stuff in and some spoons. All right, this is a one pound bag of Thai tea I found at the local Asian store here. Ours is actually Filipino and Indian which I thought was interesting. Um, there's nothing super special with this brand. Um, it just gives you some instructions. It tells you those calories. And of course, the traditional um, yellow dye number six, which is what makes Thai tea that funny color. So this is our milk we're gonna be using. Um, these are two odd brands I'd never heard of before, but uh, it's sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk, and I just have them open and ready to go. All right. Bust open the tea fresh here. Now I have used this tea in the past, so I know I like it. Um, if you don't like this one, try a different one. All right, you can see, it just looks like tea. Can you guys see that tea? All right, just pop on your water. Let that heat up. All right, you guys, you can hear our water is getting ready in the background there. So what I have here is I just have a French press craft and a tea uh, infuser from my fabulous IKEA pot. So all I'm gonna do is just put in four tablespoons, tablespoons of the tea. And you can see the tea is really finely ground. It's like bits and pieces. Now I'm putting in one tablespoon for each cup of hot water. And I know this holds four cups of water. All right, you guys, I got the hot pot of water here. Thank you, Luddy, for this lovely pot. I love it. Oh, look at that color. Can you guys see how orange that is? That is the Thai tea orange. Now, I have a feeling it was originally dyed orange so that people couldn't tell the quality of the tea because it tends to be the, the bits and ends, if you will. But you'll see in a minute what color it is. All right, we're gonna fill this up just a little bit more. And then we're gonna let it steep. All right, let's give it about four to six minutes to steep and we'll come back. All right, you guys, it's been about four minutes, so just uh, turn my tea around there a little bit and then we'll get that out. Just make sure we get all the maximum flavor. And then I just have a bowl to put this in. Let's see how bright orange it is. Very strong. Okay, then here comes my trick. So here's what I do. So, pull this one out. Doot, doot, doot. I just have an Ikea teapot or whatever you want to use. I put a coffee filter in the screen and then I just put it through here because you can see it has lots of little bits. Now make sure you do this before you put the sugar in because otherwise it tends to not go through the coffee filter. It only takes a minute or so and you get crystal clear tea. 
This is why I said at the beginning, making this in an American household, just because most people don't have a tea sock. Yeah, that's why I put mine through a coffee filter. Now, if you don't mind the little bits, you totally don't have to do this step. But if you want nice, clear tea, I find that a uh, coffee filter works pretty good. You just let it sit in there for about two minutes and it comes out nice and clear. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, so now comes the good part. So what we have here is our sweetened condensed milk. And we're going to put in four tablespoons. Remember, one tablespoon for each cup of hot water. One, two, I'm just doing this quick lack here. Three, four, and just melt it off the spoon a little bit. All right, and now I just have some turbinado sugar, which is just sugar in the raw, whatever you want to call it. You can see, there it is. Um, you can use whatever sugar you want. If you don't want to use sugar, that's fine too. Remember, you're making a concentrate here. So one, two, three, Four. You could use Splenda, you could use white sugar, you could use brown sugar, you can use what you like. All right, so while it's still hot, I like to give mine a stir, get the sugar and the milk dissolved. You can see what's there. Can you see that orange? Look at that orange! Bright orange. All right, so now comes the time where you get to make a decision. Do you want to wait? Do you want to let this cool down to room temperature? Or do you want to just go for it? Now, if you're me, I just want to go for it because Ah, it looks so good. And you can see, look how smooth it is. It doesn't have any bits in it, which is a thing that I appreciate. I'm not about the bits. All right, I don't feel any, well, a little bit left sugar. All right, just stir it a little bit more. And boom, there you go. Your tea concentrate is done. All right, so we're gonna move our tea. We're going to replace it with one glass, one bottle, and another bottle. How cool are those? So uh, these are just little milk bottles that I have that I thought were kind of nice. So um, I filled everything up with about three quarters full of crushed ice. Can you see that crushed ice? And then I just like to take the concentrate and just pour it on in. Now remember, this is still hot, so if you want more ice, go for it. Fill it almost to the top. Look at that color. Or the big one. How nice do those look? Okay, so then we have our evaporated milk. You give it a shake so you get all the bits. And then just put a little bit for creaminess on the top. Just a little bit. And boom! It's Taz tea time. And for my little bottles here, I just have a little straw and a little straw. How nice is that? I'm so excited. All right, you guys, let's give it a taste. It is a moment you've been waiting for. Woo! I know. It's been a long time since we've gotten to say that. All right, you guys, I'm going to go for one of the little bottles here because this with sticky is not fun. So let's just give it a try. Oh, hello, that's delicious. Lucky Bamboo, I know you can do better. That's why I'm calling you out. Make some good ice to you guys. Have a good one.